best best image huh? well, what, what kind of image is best for you uh, but that was not a question i'm sorry <laughs> no no that's that's okay that's okay no it, oh, yes, about, about we had the, about yeah. your book yeah, and, oh, and... about the book yeah so the book is called yeah. pure smart stylish and oh, it's including uh, yeah conscious lifestyle and it's uh, including all the issues i had um in my own life so yes. i call it a it's a practical lifestyle bible um and especially for women, I wrote it to uh, to women uh, because women are. That was also in the image coaching that we did uh, for business uh, related, like uh, uh, banks and insurance companies. We try to um, to tell women and men how to dress and how to behave better or. Uh, more or less what is the image of the company and are you showing that through your appearance so and i found that um, especially women were always uh, lack of self-esteem so in 2018 when i stopped my company um, uh, angelique Brewer's personal styling mm -hmm. i um, i thought mm, okay i don't have kids so this was my really first baby. And this baby is now, um, it's a sibling now, it's five, because I have wow. five um, languages. It's in Dutch, English, French, Spanish, and German. And Amazing. In the book is everything what I learned in my own life. So yeah. that's why I said it's a practical lifestyle book because it teach women. And for me, that was the first also, the, and the most important uh, chapter of the book is the seedling leaf uh, theory. Because when I was an image coach and uh, I wanted to learn more. So like you, I did NLP mm -hmm. and I did etiquette. I did dating coaching, everything, what I could, you know, how I could help, especially women. And um, for me, at that time, I did um, a study that's called physiognomy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can call it also face reading and body reading. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, that was really important because when you know who you are yeah. and you can help people better, you yeah. understand people better. And um, yeah, so this seedling leaf theory is because everyone has three seedling leaves and that's called the um the uh, digestive system yeah we all have a nervous system and we all have a, a skeletal or musculosus skeletal system mm -hmm. and i uh change these difficult names into very easy easy and and i put colors on it so it was blue is food, is digestive. Uh, the, the skeletal, the musculus skeletal is the movement, is red. Mm -hmm. And the yellow is the emotional or the nervous system. And that's why I, to, tonight I put on this jacket. It's, it's one jacket, but it's divided in two Yes, it's colors very beautiful. And two styles. So that's why I did also my hair. Normally, I don't do that. I have one hair coop, yeah. but now I have this messy kind of wavy, and that's me. Yeah. And this is also me. So I have, because that was one of the questions a lot of women asked me, yeah, and uh, am I only one type? No, you have more talents. You have, you are more types. But in these three seedling leaf colors, everyone has, you always see two more than three. So for example, I call the orange types are a combination of the red, the movement, and the yellow, the emotional. Yeah. These types have all these six types. I brought them back to three types. 
because in my experience and in, in all my investigation, I saw that mainly you have green, orange, and purple types. Mm -hmm. So you are really a, you have a lot of yellow and you, <laughs> and green because your 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 nice face. So the green ones and the and the yellow and the green ones always want to help people. They are always uh, they work in hospitals or like dentist and assistant, um, they like to, to help people to and connect. they think and they like also nice things. So um, the orange types are the tall ones, are the slim ones, are very often the mannequins and the, mm -hmm. the, the, the women on the, on, the, on the fashion show. And, um, but they also, I like to move so to be a secretary because that was my really first job was a secretary and after one year I, I couldn't because I couldn't sit still behind a computer or at that time a typewriter so for me to move and to do and, and to be busy was always very important and if you know if you are a green or an orange type or a purple type because the purple types are really uh, good business people they always have a goal they, they want to uh, yeah they, they like to uh, to eat I like um, uh, to uh, everyone likes to eat but they yeah. have it more than for example you and I have and if you know what kind of type you are and you know your talents yes. then it's easier for me at that time as an image coach well, I, I, I thought it was very important and it was much easier to see or to read the person in front of me. So if I, if I suggested an image like colors or what kind of style of clothes you have, right? what's well, a, a personal style, um, you have to look if she, from personality, likes these kind of styles. So if you read, for example, or you, you watch television or all these YouTubers and then influencers are making their makeup, yeah, yeah, it's nice on their face. Yeah, yeah. But I have different eyes. I have a different nose. I have a different skin color. Yes. And what is nice on you is not nice on me yeah. because we are different types. And for me, that was really a very important um, um yeah part of my uh, of my uh, coaching and i have a question to you uh, why um did you decide to become a coach yeah good question that's what i said when i was 35 i was uh i was always in sales and uh in interior design and so i was helping people but um i was 35 and uh, whew, I was in a difficult um, period in my life because my mom was very ill. And uh, I just decided, uh, because I was an entrepreneur for, I'm an entrepreneur since I, I, am, I was 27. So uh, I was always uh, taking care of my customers or to, to get new customers. Uh, so I, you are always busy, you know that. If you are an entrepreneur, you are, you work 24 seven because if you are not working, then you are thinking because you, you have to move or you're working on your website or you're working on new products or whatever. So, and at that time I was, um, I was, uh, I don't know. I, I went to, uh, I think I went to a bar and I met this lady and then suddenly she said to me, Ah, I like your looks, I like your uh, smile, I like your talk. Um, maybe you could be a consultant for my company. Wow. And uh, I started and at that time I was developing. But funny, Veronica, is that uh, I put it on my website as well because yeah. uh, I move several times in my life. And every time when I move, then I have these boxes and then you know, I, don't know, I want to keep that. No, I, I, I throw that away. But I always kept um, a big book, a, a kind of uh, like a, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Memories book or? 
yeah, no, I had to do it on school. It was a school. Uh, no, I don't know what, uh, how do I, I don't how know the call. word in English. Yeah, it's a, a school book. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and um, to make notes. They were asking. Yeah, they were asking me at that time. I was seven years old. Um, about people, and I wrote in that on my age of seven. I wrote, everyone is different. And it's nice that everyone is different because otherwise the, the world will be very dull. Mm -hmm. And when I read that, because I found that book, uh, which I made myself when I was seven, I, I found it, I think uh, last year. And I was really amazed. I said, yes, this was really me at that time. So, and that's why for me, it's very important that people know, um, I'm 56 now, but on at my age of seven, I was really writing my my future because at that time, because th th that's what I am, and that's what I want to teach people: is everyone is unique, everyone is different, and I don't like um, all these Barbies you see at the moment with all these photoshopping and whatever they want to change, change noses, change mouth and, and, and eyebrows and everything yeah. has to be perfect and you can't be perfect because that's dull and um, yeah for me it's very important to to see everyone uh, I see people like they are but you that's the reason why why you decided at that time to to become a coach And she asked me, I did a job interview and then I did some sessions, I did some coaching. And then I think in maybe two years, I started my own company. So for me, that was really, yeah, this is, this is who I am. So this you have entrepreneurial um uh, I was already as a skills. salesperson. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I was in, in, I had my interior decoration company and then I started ha really helping people by giving them uh, image advice, dating advice. And now I call it lifestyle, a conscious lifestyle, because that's what I do myself. I mm -hmm. live a conscious life. Uh, so, because you you um, have about lifestyle, I have another question for you. Yes. What is the importance of um, lifestyle coach uh, in the entrepreneurship? Yeah, that's maybe I already said it. That if you are conscious about who you are, then you know also what kind of talents and what kind of products you need as a person, which you know really fits your personality yeah and yeah. then you can help your 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 clients much better so mm. that's why i said for me the most important is the face reading and the body reading because if you know you know you did the nlp as well yeah. that gave me already a, a big aha moment but when i did this face reading and body reading that for me was really okay now i really understand who i am and why I am like that. And so for me, that's uh, really being conscious uh, about it. And if you, if you read it or if you listen to it, then you will find out, okay, next time um, you will see, uh, you know, you have a client and you see, okay, she's um, orange or she's purple or she's uh, green. Then you know how to talk to her because she is, she's listening different than an orange type or a, yeah. or a purple type yeah i have another question to you um as a lifestyle coach uh what kind of impact do you think that you could having on the people um uh, yeah i think that's happening already now uh like i said i'm always a little bit early in 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 what i'm developing um, I think because of this COVID also is that people become more and more conscious about their lifestyle and you can travel uh, and before you can travel, you could do everything you could do. You could go to parties and events, but you were not thinking about 
your own lifestyle. And that's, you see this happening now that people are saying, hey, I really like this lockdown period because now I'm writing or now I'm learning music or now I'm, I'm, I'm painting. Um, you are developing different talents. Yeah. We all have different talents. So that's why I say, okay, I have this. I am, I'm the crazy uh, DJ lady orange, mm -hmm. yeah, like I am. And I am the, the, the image coach or the, or the lifestyle um, inspirator or whatever yes. you want to see and wh whatever you want to show the, the world at that moment. So um, I think uh, it's going to happen more and more that people become more conscious about how they live, and if is this the life I want to do, you know? So you mean that uh, you could create uh, more impact um, on the people uh, to let them, them know um, their qualities or the yeah, way that, that, to be and yeah. what kind of lifestyle they could create? Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah, you, you, of, of course, I always created uh i like to create and inspirate but i always created my own life i always created so i didn't want to work in this interior design anymore and i saw this lady and i did this interview job and and it went very well and then you know i had my own business mm -hmm. again in this kind of uh, area in coaching now mm -hmm. uh, so i was always i'm always developing and what I said, I um, in my book using um, ly lyrics as a, as an affirmation, mm -hmm. and music was always very important to me. And I wanted to work with a with a DJ because I wanted to create my own kind of music. Yeah. And then my sister said, "Why are you not doing it yourself? Because you're always busy with music and and creating, and and you like to dance and all these things." So I thought. Why not? So at the age of 54, I went to the, the Netherlands and I did a course for uh, becoming a DJ. Wow. So, <laughs> and, now, and now I'm writing my own music. I'm making my own music. And um, that's the new project uh, because that's one of your next questions I'm sure of. Uh, <laughs> so I have the book as a method and yeah. I am creating at this moment um, I, I call them DNA repair and happiness uh, videos and music. So I make music and I make uh, the imaging, uh, which goes together with your personality. So with your uh, 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 personal DNA. Yeah, but how amazing is to to discover the the hidden talents? Because yeah. uh, you know what you you said during our our uh, chat chatting, you said that. A lot of people, they are not um, aware of yeah. their talents. They don't yeah. know that they have that. No, and I think that that's the impact that you could make on the people as well through, yeah. through your coaching. Yeah, that's yeah, that's why I call it uh, inspirational. It's like an inspiration and you do what, what, you, what you can do. But if you read uh, what kind of color you are or you know what kind of color you are, you are really saying, oh yes, I, I did this when I was eight or nine and I totally forgot I was very good at it. And, um, but a lot of people think, okay, I'm doing this job. So, because I need to, uh, need to earn money or need to have money, but they are not happy. Yeah. And uh, I always say, okay, you can have a job, but if you have next to the job, you have a hobby, uh, which is really all your talent you are developing all your talents in this hobby then you could be a, a, a happy person as well you know so yeah. at the end yeah. it's uh, it's the balance find to balance uh, between uh, yeah. what is needed and what you want to do uh, but for entrepreneurs we are different types we are different uh, type of people because uh, you are an entrepreneur um uh, in heart, I think, because uh, we are free spirits and we, yes. we like to have this freedom. And we, as, a, as an entrepreneur, you always want to look for different things. And that makes you a good entrepreneur, I think. Yes, for different opportunities and for different 
uh, in, yeah, home, in home streaming. Yes. Yeah, you have to, you have to uh, improvise. Have to create. You have to, yeah, you have, you to, have create to create them. again. You have to adapt to the to the yeah. to the um, yeah to the. Uh, you have to adapt yourself to the situation you are in. Yes. Um, I have another question. How do you think that your cult changed the life of another people as a uh, uh, style coach? I'm sorry, I didn't understand your question. How cold? How um, do you think that? Uh, or how, how do you think, how could you change the life of another people, of your students? Uh, yeah. Uh, as, how, uh, I, how they, uh, as a become, lifestyle code. Yeah, no, yeah, they become conscious, huh? they become conscious, hey, I am this person, so I can do that and that and that, and I can do more, more, and more, more. And but I you, you gave uh, me uh, tips about the type of the people. I think that's the good one. Uh, yes. Like orange one and... The and green the ones and the, the purple ones, you know. And uh, uh, of course, there is... If you, if you are... I can explain about um, if you are red, then you have more dominance. You are very good at accountancy you like to have the structure uh, I'm really orange I don't like structure but <laughs> of course I have structure but uh, if I compare it if I compare my computer with the computer of my husband <laughs> which has really a lot of red then you see it's very structured uh, for me, it's all a mess, but I always can find. But that's me, you know. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you are creative. You are creative. Yeah, it's mean, yeah, more creative. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, he doesn't. In the beginning, he wanted to change that, of course. But now uh, <laughs> he said, "Oh, forget it," <laughs> and that's good because if you know that you don't have that talent to to, for example, structure your your computer, if you know that you don't have that talent or you know that your husband doesn't have that talent, then you don't want, you don't need to, to push or you, because you can tell it, but he's not, he's not, it's not getting into his brain because he doesn't think like that. Yeah. And of course he can learn, but if it's not in your structure, then it's really hard to learn. And uh, for me, it's, uh, Sometimes I try to make it more structured, but then after one hour, then I get nervous because I want to move. I can't be behind the computer all the time. So then I have to move or I have to dance or I have to sing or whatever and uh, to be creative in a different way. Uh, could you give us another uh, tip? How could you uh, change the life, life of another people? Uh, through your knowledge and experience as um, a lifestyle coach? Yeah, reading my book, of course, <laughs> and uh, listening to my uh, videos and my music because uh, I want to, uh, I want to, yeah, have more conscious people like, uh, like us, uh, Veronica. I want, yeah, uh, yeah I, I hope that, um, that people realize that, uh, I can do so many more when I know who they really are, you know, really from deep inside, because yeah. we are all born, um, but you will be uh, influenced by, in the beginning, your family, your siblings, your friends, and then school, work, and they all want to change you. They, they all want to do different things. And uh, you have people who are very vulnerable for that. Yeah. Like me, I was always very vulnerable when my mom said, no, I don't think that's good for you. Or it's maybe because I wanted to become a, a makeup artist when I yeah. was 16. But she didn't like me because there was only one uh, school at that time in Amsterdam. And she came from Amsterdam. She lived there for many years. She didn't want me as a shy uh, person to, to go to the city. So she said, I think uh, makeup artists, uh, nobody's asking that. It's maybe better to become a secretary. But secretary was not, you know, it wasn't. I, I was very good at my job because I'm very ambitious. Yeah. But 
it was not not me it was and not your passion no it was it wasn't and uh, so nowadays it's maybe different because nowadays a lot of people or parents tell their children oh, you do whatever you want to do but in my time that was really not done you know you listen to your to your parents and if they said okay this is not that good then you listened and uh, or i listened yeah? uh, my my brother did what he wanted to do and uh, to become and uh, but i was that kind of person and uh, so i was always influenced by other people and now uh, at age of 50, 56, or maybe a little bit uh, sooner, I realized, no, this is not me. So I'm creating now music. I'm doing different things, which I really totally forgot that I I, I studied music when I was young. Wow. I totally forgot, you know. You think, oh, no. And then, and then there's also, you know, a lot of people are making music. A lot of people are coaching. A lot of people are doing this and this. But I think if if people really like you as a person yes. or what you are Your telling, capabilities, your, your qualities. Yeah, your, your capacity, your, your qualities. And um, yeah, you want to listen to me or you don't want to listen to me. And if you don't want to listen to me, you go to another person. And that's, I think it has to be, yeah, also a kind of uh, a feeling. Yeah, You have a feeling yeah, with a person yeah. or not. But I think that these are uh, excellent um, tips and tools for another people. How cool they change their life because they're about, yeah. Um, because a lot of people, how you said uh, previously, they are living uh, like in a blind spot and they uh, don't live from the depth of their heart. They are no. doing a job because only they need money, but they are not living their passion. Is there about? No, no, no. But that, that, I think that's also different. That's why I said I think entrepreneurs are a different species they have different kind of thinking. So yeah. they always follow their passion and they always do things which I really like or they want to change, you know? And uh, I was always busy developing and, and creating something. And I to know, I, I wanted to know more about human being. Like uh, everyone is different. And that's why also, if you look at this color, this uh, it makes me more soft than this one. It makes me hard. But because I had these curls, makes it soft as again. So I play with all these things because I know them. I know what colors can do to your face because that's the first thing people see you know they see your your face are you, are you smiling or are you yes. are you open person um, and uh, your body language is uh, also very uh, important uh, uh, chapter in NLP yeah. uh, and tells a lot about uh, people are you are you like uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really I am here or are you oh, I don't want I I'm shy person <laughs> I don't want you to uh, to look at me and whatever so if your body language is not yeah uh, not, not it, good it, if it's it's not um it's uh, not flexible and balanced yeah no or more or less uh if you are a salesperson and you are looking like this then nobody buys because yeah. they oh uh, i don't think that uh, she's very uh, or he is very uh, aware of uh, or, or she doesn't have a lot of a lot of knowledge because uh, yeah but another thing is that a lot of people they are not aware of their body language they don't know that they communicate with their body language uh, through their um, uh, face expression. So yeah. they don't know how to express their uh, emotions and feelings. Yeah. And uh, even the, the communication, the thoughts too. I meet a lot of people and so they are struggling, you know, because when someone is, is blocked emotionally, it's because yeah. they have been struggling with a lot of problems yeah traumas because, traumas from the past or whatever yeah, from the past or they have had a divorce or a bad relationship or yeah. it doesn't matter what they are blocked emotionally and this is the um the 
but co uh, body uh, communicational language yeah. language yeah. that are the blocks that are they are reflecting unconsciously they don't know that yeah well, that's true and yeah. uh it's a kind of um self-healing also i will i'm always try to to heal myself and um that's uh, you can heal yourself when you know who you are yeah yeah and uh, yeah. how, is your how do you do that so i'm very curious about that how do you heal yourself yeah uh, <laughs> yeah of course i read uh, in 1984 a long time ago I read the book of uh, Louisa Hay. It's uh, called um, uh, Heal Yourself. Eh? You can heal yourself. So, for example, uh, it's the same as in uh, face and body reading that you can read. Uh, I can read your spots in your face. I can read, uh, for example, I have a big boom here in Before my nose. Minus. Yeah, but that means that I have a lot of willpower. But if I, for example, have a rat spot all the time on my nose, that's communication. But it also means that there is something with your digestive system. If you have a lot of wrinkles here, it's a digestive system. So if I can see, if I see that, then I know, okay, of course, you experience uh, difficulties then. So I try to, to heal myself with uh thinking differently mm -hmm. and in my book i'm doing that with music because you 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 it's very difficult for a lot of people to say oh i'm beautiful i'm beautiful i'm beautiful you know you don't uh, appreciate themselves but if, if you if you if you sing i am beautiful you know the song from uh, christina aguilera then it's much much easier to, to give your brain this information, ah, I'm beautiful. To get motivated. Yes. So when you are singing, then it gives you uh, yeah, better motivation to, uh, to think different. And that's the uh, main issue, I think, or the main, the most important thing is to, to dare to think different. And uh, of course, I, I work with uh, red lights and, uh, and healing, you know, it, it heals your, your body uh, on the parts you really need, or you have to boost uh, your immune system. Uh, so I'm always looking for different kind of things. Uh, I have here a bracelet, it's uh, from uh, Philip Stein. And what is that exactly? Yeah, yeah that's I do bracelet. Know that. You have it also in a watch and it gives, um, it, it takes away the, the, the negative uh, energies. Uh, Vibes. Also from, you know, all these internet and Wi-Fi's, but um, it takes care that your body is more in balance. Oh, and uh, when you have, for example, pain in your in your spine, uh, then you are out of balance because maybe you you fell down or you you're like me last week. I was skiing and I was hit by two snowboarders, so I fell. And then you know that your spine reacts immediately, or uh, or your bones uh, in a different place. And if you know that, then you can work on on that uh, spot. But it also means something like okay what for example i don't want to hear or don't want to see uh, because now i uh, i have to stay in uh, yeah uh, during covid you have to stay in, in the yeah, at home. but i have to stay on my couch or in, in the bed uh, so i have to take care a little bit more of my own body so, and if you have uh, problems in uh, with your with your eyes, what do you what you don't want to see or what you don't want to hear? And I always uh, ask myself these questions. Uh, my uh, my husband thinks, uh, oh, why are you thinking like that? But that's me. You know, we are we are thinking different because we have this yellow in us, a lot of yellow, and that's they're always thinking, and uh, it's the emotional uh, color of our. Uh, dna system yeah but i think that the the most powerful uh medicine to to heal ourselves is the power of our mind yeah that's, that's my opinion that. i have written a book as well the power of your mind so it's very good i i didn't finish yet because i'm doing like you dozens of things uh <laughs> Yeah, uh, but I, I I'm gonna finish this book, but uh, it's very very impactful. You know what is very interesting? After that, I have written this book, 
I uh, um, after a period of time, after two months, so I opened uh, this book digital and uh, I was writing. I couldn't believe that I have written in this book. So impactful and interesting things. So it's like, wow, <laughs> I was admiring myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and good. That, that, that's what I mean, the power of our, our mind. Because a lot of people, they are not aware of their yeah, power. Not conscious, yeah, not conscious about uh, yeah. uh, what the mind, uh, because I have one of the chapters in my book is called, and. Um, uh, my last song, uh, or song, it's not a song because it's instrumental music, um, I called um, uh, Hat versus a Heart. And in my book, it's called uh, uh, Live Positively by Thinking Differently. And uh, because if you know the strength of power thoughts and, and how you can create uh your thinking in good things you know uh you always have people when their glass is half full or you know it's half empty and yeah. I, mine mine is always half full because i always want to fill up yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um or or we call it in in in, in dutch altijd uh, beren op de weg zien you always see problems and yeah you don't know uh, what seeing to do seeing beer beer on the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> Years on the way. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's uh, for me, that was, I called it uh, the, the, the music uh, is called uh, Head versus uh, Heart and Happiness um, because, um, yeah, are you reacting? Are you living your life by heart or by head? Mm. And the yellow types and the green types and the orange yes. types are really thinkers and always think. But if we start doing less thinking and living more by heart, yeah, then it's always yeah, good. the the beliefs, uh, the beliefs. Uh, so where yeah, are what we believing at? It's it's our power. So yeah, but you can believe in something. For example, uh, you see that. Uh, if, if, if you believe, oh, I'm a good singer, I'm a good singer, because, uh, you know, but nobody says, okay, you are not that good a uh, singer, then you can, yeah. Well, I understand your point, but I mean, <laughs> we have about healing. I mean, if if you want to, to heal, so your body or your emotional pain, if you truly believe, yes, in the power of your mind, then you can yeah, heal it. True. Yeah, that's yes. true. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so I want to thank you from the depth of my heart for your thank time you and for your that. preparation too, yes. because you did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you spent a lot of time so to prepare yourself for, for this interview. To oh, I don't prepare you. You know that because I, I am... <laughs> I have a lot of experience, so for okay. me, it's only okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and so I um, would like to to invite our guests who will watch this video to like and to subscribe. So to this yes. video, yes, and yes. I want to share so with our guests as well uh, uh, that they uh, can find you. So. Um, on my uh, YouTube channel, but also on my website. I will add the name of your website and a link to your book. Do you have this book digital? Yes, I have. So I have. yes, it's amazing. So then we will uh, share the link as well on the YouTube channel, on the website. Um, by this way, so the guests can find you and book you. For yeah, that. and all my music on iTunes and Spotify. So uh, yes, so the Mystery Games album, DJ Lady Orange. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, and I'll then, you. Yeah, and then the people can discover their uh, truly way to be because that's the uh, fascinating role that you have as a coach to to let them know the truly way to be and to, yeah, to live to their learn. passion. Yeah, to learn, to learn, and to, to learn, learn yes. and to help other people because that's who we are. Eh? So a message for, for uh, our uh, guests and watchers. So don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Thank you again, uh, Angelique. Um, take Thank care you. of yourself. Yeah, you too. Have a nice weekend. And, you too. Uh, I hope Thank to you. see you soon. 
Yes. And maybe um, sometime live in the Netherlands when we can yes. travel again. 